hello guys welcome back to knitting catalog subscribe to my channel and like my video today i'm going to share with you how to do a baby shoe a baby shoe for a beginner so simple so you know all this why we have been doing video on a some part of the machine how to use some part of the machine but today i decided to do a project a simple project for a beginner how to do a baby shoe so i've already started this is not stretchy hem with 20 by 20 needle and i'm using tension 6 so that it can be like thick enough to withstand the hem to withstand the stress from the hem so I, that's why i use tension 6 so right now the stage the stage is to fold it to fold our hair so i'm folding it you remember the loop thing on non stretchy hem so the loop will guide you on how to fold your hem without not bending at all so if you don't know how i get to this stage i will advise you you go and wash my video how to do no stretchy hair so this is it so i'm going to change the color of my wool to white see on tension six i'm not going to change that so i'm going to need four row of color white see this is for so i'm going to do a eyelet so i'm going to space the eyelet so i'm going to leave six at the center so this is center zero i'm going to count my needle towards this side leaving three one two three then i go to this one and make an eyelet So leaving three, removing one need one stitches to the other needle. So I'm going to count to this side one, two, three. You can see leaving three, removing number four needle stitches to the next needle. Okay, so I'm going to push the empty needle back to working position. I need four row again, still with tension. Six, two, three, four. You can see the eyelids. So I'm hugging my weight on it after knitting the white. So to change my tension to tension nine, yes, and remove the white color. I'm done with this. Going to remove it. Okay. So I'm going to increase three needle, but at the count of five row, I'm going to increase one needle. Right now, I'm going to need five row. I'm going to need five row and increase one. But the whole roll I want to need is 26 row for this project. After this white, I'm going to need 26 row. Then increase three needle. But the three needle, I'm going to start right now by increasing one at the both side of the work. And need, I need five row. And this is one. Going to increase again. Then the last one. Okay. 
then this is 15 row out of the 26 I supposed to knit so I'm going to knit it up to the numbers of row I'm supposed to knit but I'm going to stop at I'm going to stop at 25 so this is 15 15 so this is 25 remaining one row to complete this project so the one row i'm going to knit it right now with loose wool my last row have to be very very loose because it's banding off or cast off row so i'm going to draw my wool down increase my tension to 10 and as i'm coming in immediately i feel that i've already entered at the, the my carriage i've already entered the needle the walk my custom walk so i'm going to release the wool to make it a little bit loose so right now I'm going okay so I'm going to release it to make it loose the last row as in the cast off row. yeah you can see it that's it so I'm going to cast it off the cast off is the end of your project you want to tidy it up so that it will not lose so this is the tools i used to use for my cast off so i'm going to cast off all the needle So the next thing to do is to sew this project. I don't know how to use hand to sew anything like that. I always use sewing machine, but for this, I have to try my best. This is the wrong side and this is the front side. So you are going to turn the wrong side fixing you and you saw the band so i always talking in ss ss wool around the band okay kind of like draw it then still use this to tighten it off okay and then like put them in okay then i'm going to sew from this place from the hem down till i, I get to one and a half inch here then let me do that now so I've sewed from this end to this end. So this is where there is a special attention on. So you are going to leave a gap of like one and a half inch. You can see it. You are going to leave a gap of one and a half inch. Then you stop sewing at the tip, at the toes area. So now what you are going to do at this area is to gather it's like you gather the 
nose of the shoe. You see the way I'm doing it. Think you can see it. Yes. When I become round, then you secure the sewing like tidying it up and let it tight a little bit. So be careful not to allow the needle to enter your flesh. So I'm going to secure this so that it won't lose back. Okay, then I'm going to tie a knot on it. Yes, I think this is perfect. That's good. Put it. Then I'm going to turn it. Let's see. You can see. This is how it is. So. I'm going to get a ribbon now. To fix on it. So when you get the ribbon, you're going to light the mat so that it's not Right from there. So, you are going to start from the front. That, you remember that six needle at the center. So, I'm going to start from here. And fix round. Make sure the right side of the ribbon is out and fix so sorry so I'm going to Hide the ribbon. Like this is a simple. Put this for baby to wear like a kind of newborn. Well, I didn't tie the ribbon well. Don't mind me. Okay. So this is it for a newborn baby. So you are going to do exactly the same thing to the other leg to have it. So if I'm going to do it, I'm going to fill it up with like something like fluffy material to really bring out the toes of a baby. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I believe that you will try your own. Please subscribe to my channel. Like my video. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.